Hello beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're in the mood for some traditionally breakfast foods, even though we eat breakfast for dinner around here, but you get the point. Today we're gonna make a super simple and really light and delicate, almost reminiscent of Blintz's cottage cheese keto pancakes. Then I'm gonna show you how to make a hassle-free berry, chia seed, and sea moss jam from scratch. And lastly, I'll show you how to make a simple syrup that you can use in so many different applications, including for your coffee, but in this case, as a syrup for your pancakes, in case you wanna go that route. I love finding new recipes like these cottage cheese pancakes, because I like having options and variety, something really simple, easy and quick to put together on the fly. And recipes like these pancakes or staples like the jam and the syrup that we'll make are great to prepare ahead of time so that you have them on hand, ready to use whenever you need them. Leveraging meal prep and at times using meal plans has really proven helpful for me over the last few years on a ketogenic diet. I've gotten really comfortable at this point, you know, several years in, but I did find that meal plans helped to give me a lot of structure, especially in the beginning when I wasn't sure what to eat, what the options were, and everything seemed a little overwhelming and confusing. I think I would have to say Food options, recipes, and meal prep and planning are the questions I get asked the most by folks who are interested in keto or those who may be on keto but finding it challenging to decide what to eat. So Keto Smart sent over their recipe book and in addition to these cottage cheese pancakes, I'm going to be sharing some more of my favorites with you guys on the channel as I make them. But in addition to the recipe book, they also shared with me their Keto Smart Guide. And it may be helpful for some of you guys who are looking for a little bit more guidance, maybe need some more tips to boost weight loss on keto, or if you're having a bit of a challenge with fat adaptation, this can help give you guys some tips to help you along the way. If you guys are interested, I'll go ahead and put the link to the meal plan in the description box below. This recipe was super easy to make. The pancakes came out nice and light, delicate. Not so much fluffy, thick fluffy, but they were delicate and soft. Fantastic texture.
I've used Pomona pectin for the jams and some of the syrups that I've made so far, but this time we're gonna use two other secret ingredients to thicken our jam. And this is great if you're in a pinch and you don't have any pectin on hand. We are gonna use chia seeds along with some mineral rich sea moss gel. I gave the jam a light mash. Once I took it off of the heat, you can just go ahead and get it to the texture that you prefer. Having a simple syrup on hand is so versatile because we can use it in our mixed drinks, we can use it as a base for some syrups, and for so many other applications. And the best part is that it is super easy to make. We're just going to add one cup of sweetener, one cup of water, bring that to a light simmer, and then right before removing it from the heat, We'll add one quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum and give that a nice whisk to make sure that's all evenly combined. And that's it. Your syrup will thicken as it cools and it's ready to use immediately. I hope you guys enjoyed this keto recipe mashup medley and that you make some of these recipes for yourself. And be sure to go ahead and check out that link in the description box below if you do need a keto meal plan and a little bit more structure and you're finding you need a little extra support to help you get to your next keto goals. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and drop a like down below if you did enjoy the video. Share it with someone also that you think might enjoy it as well. And until the next time, my diva family, as always, stay safe and be well. Bye-bye.